Good day, guys. Lord Allen in the shed. <laughs> What's happening this week? Well, you won't believe what happened this week. <gasps> oh my God! It's been a week since we spoke to you, haven't we? Yes, right. Every time the wife went out in the car, something went wrong with it. She only nipped to the shops in the village. No, engine light comes on. So I said, I've had enough of this. So I, clear, I cleared the engine light, and you know, this has been an ongoing with this Fiat 500. So I cleared the engine light, and I said, right, we'll go for a long ride. Let's make this light come on, and then we can get it sorted professionally. So I says, we'll go on the A55, we'll go to Land now. I'll tell you what, we'll go to that model train show in Land now. So it goes all the way through the lanes up onto the A55, bombs it all the way down to landed now, no warning light. Pulls in the car park and who's there? Rob and Grace from RGJ, RGJ Trains. So give him one of my cards as you do. <laughs> and uh, had a quick natter and greetings and one thing or another. Went round the show, got back in the car, drove all the way home, no warning lights. I said, what's wrong with the car? I can't fix what's not wrong. Okay, she said. Next, no, that afternoon, after we'd come home, um, she says, oh, I've got to pop to the shops. She goes out into to the shops. On the way back home, the car's jinxed. She knocks the near side wing mirror off. Oh my God, you won't believe the stress she went through. She thought the world had just collapsed, you know. Oh my God, she threw the keys at me. Get rid of this car. I'm not, I'm not touching it, she said. So, bloody hell, you know. <laughs> so I'm trying to calm her down. She wouldn't calm down, it was hours. Oh, tears. Unbelievable. So next morning, went to our local garage. And uh, he always has stuff reasonably priced there, fair dues. And we turns up, and it's one of those things, the right place at the right time, yeah? You won't believe this. Pulls in. Oh, I like that, she said. And the price is nice. I thought, oh, hello. <laughs> So the guy wasn't there, so she's on the blower then, you know, and the tippy tappy and away she goes. Anyways, we agreed to meet next morning. And he said, I said to him, I says, well, don't sell the car because we're very interested. Okay, he said, no worries. So, <laughs> goes back up there next morning and uh, we're going around the car and he, points this out and that out and, and this car had been gone through, it's had a full service, new tyres, brakes are good, uh, full valet and the toys inside it, unbelievable, sat nav, uh, glass sunroof, yeah, full full length of the car, heads up display, the stereo system is to die for, absolutely. Oh, it's, it's as good as my surround sound in the home. Oh, God, it's beautiful. The rear tailgate, yeah, you, you open the tailgate as normal, yeah, it's a five door. But it also drops down like a Range Rover. Oh, it's even better. All the tools are in it, all the gadgets are in it. Back seats, 60-40, all that. And you know this car, I, it's done quite a few miles, but it's never been used. It's, nobody sat in the back seats. They were brand spanking new. It wasn't a scuff mark or nothing. And I'm thinking, Jesus, this is a bit good, isn't it? So we went round it, and it's a 1600 diesel. Like I said, fully serviced and everything. So she says, I want it. <laughs> okay. So uh, we come to an agreement. 
he took my car in PX, which Barbara was very surprised about. So, uh, shook hands on it Monday morning, picked it up, taxed it there and then. We've done the insurance, and the tax on it is only £20. So that might give you a clue, okay? Where my Fiat was £180 to tax that. Well, this one was only 20 quid. But we found out that the insurance is dearer, because it's a bigger, younger model. And I'll tell you, I'll come to it in a minute. So, the tax savings paid for the insurance, basically. Uh, right. And the car is a Peugeot. 3008 and uh, if you want to look them up online oh it's fabulous machine absolutely fabulous and do you know what sold it to her there's a tow bar on it we wouldn't have to go to the expense of putting a tow bar on it because I got a, a small trailer I drag around to the the skips taking the rubbish back she says, oh look, it's got a tow bar on it. Oh, fantastic, that'll do. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> oh, so that was that. So we've got now a Peugeot 3008. God, we've done a few hundred mile in it already. And I'm getting, pff, I don't know, 55, 60 to the gallon, especially on the dual carriageways. And loads of power, six speed. Oh, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's got all the telephone systems in it and uh, sat nav, uh, what else? Aircon, it's got all the gear, it's all the toys in it, unbelievable. And the seats, well, seats are like this, you know, they're like armchairs, unreal. Airbags galore in it, I know that. So, that's what we got, so, she's got over the stress. She's now gone on it, out in it for the first time this morning. This is Friday morning. Um, I've been driving it for quite a while this week, going everywhere. She's been practicing. It's because it's electronic handbrake as well. None of this, none of that. <laughs> you just flick a button. <laughs> Jesus, does it stop? I'll tell you, it works. So that's that. So. You know what they say? A happy wife is a happy life. So, <laughs> she, she let me buy this item I'm going to show you now, which is the West Hill Wagon Works platform kit. Okay? Uh, without going into any more stories, I'll show you how I put it together. Alright? You may skip through bits and bobs, but i show you the basics of how it goes together and uh, the finished product. Okay? So without further ado, let's get into the film. <laughs> I'm a happy man again now. I've got a happy wife. <laughs> right, guys. Uh, this has just arrived from West Hill Wagon Works. Um, something I've ordered. So, it's not a paid promotion, it's not a freebie, I've paid for this. So, I'm opening this, opening it in front of you guys to see how it comes. Okay? Uh, and basically, it's in two envelopes. I don't think there's anything else in there. No. So we can put that to one side. And what it is, it's a station platform. Now, if you remember, I mentioned, uh, I'm not sure I mentioned it. I want to update me Hornby station platforms. Okay? Now if I spin you around and show you, uh, and try to explain. Right, these, these two platforms here. Now the one I've bought is to replace this one, okay? So it's virtually the same length, but without the ramp. 
but I've got some steps that comes in the kit so I'm replacing this one now the next little project is to, is to replace this side okay but the order I've measured it and what have you if it all goes together right it should go in as as a re, as a replacement okay to replace the uh, the Hornby platform so that's that's the plan okay oh my god seriously <laughs> I've just realized I never turned the damn camera on for recording but basically all I've done before I go anywhere right this is this is what I've bought okay this is a station platform okay that's the blow up version and that's that's what it's going to look like okay it comes with a comprehensive uh, instruction leaflets okay there's umpteen in here pages of it and the double sided yeah so you shouldn't have any issue about putting it together okay so that's that now there's two two platform tops I should imagine I only need two but there's four here two sets okay this is the kit the support kit underneath the platform these are the grills that go underneath the platform these are the platforms okay these are the seating uh, there's four in there and yeah a pack of four a pack of four seating I probably use three possibly four I won't know until I when you get the length out then you'll understand how much room you got to put these in uh, this piece is the railings okay this is the railing kit that goes around the outside um, this is one kit it's it will fit this platform you don't need any more or any extras or anything the gates the, all, all the fencing and everything it's all in one kit so you don't have to buy any more that's it now the end of the platform they have this particular design platform they have steps to come down now the Hornby's got ramps haven't they so these steps fit on the end of the platform now on my platforms they're up against the tunnel portal so if in a normal situation you'd put one at either end of the platform because my platforms against the tunnel portal I'll only use one well that this, this the second one in the kit will do for the next kit and that's how they come yeah is that focused in anyway they're already pre-painted that's that's the amazing part about it it's already made out of the box glue in position game over okay and the other little thing I, I purchased is, is these are all extras by the way um, it's the station platform information boards okay and that's how it comes in that kit like that if I can keep the shiny bits off the camera and they're, all, they're already fitted so it's a matter of you getting them out of the kit and placing them on there but you can't fall West Hill Wagon Works can you? Eh? brilliant now what I need to do now that's that's the platform kit as as is yeah you get the boards this is the uh, the framework that goes underneath the platform along with these grills that's that is your platform 
it actually comes with the deck as well with all the markings pre-painted self-adhesive adhesive yeah self-adhesive <laughs> to get that in the end the the railings the seating okay and the platform steps and the information boards are all separate items now you can buy a kit where you can buy this all in one go uh, it comes with everything and if you look on the website they've got a reduction at the moment and it's £135 if you want to buy it I've gone down the route that I only wanted the platform and then I pick and choose the extra bits I want on here for now I can always add to it at a later date but the, the thing with that is you get two in there so that'll do for me next platform on this side of the layout to match up with this one I just wanted to modernize the platforms get away from the Hornby platforms and this is um, based on Ilkinston, Elkinson, Elkston, Elkston in Derbyshire anyway it's, it's, it's an actual platform I have seen it on YouTube for real and it is spit an image must say so what I need to do now is uh, read the instructions um, and take it from there and then we'll take you on the journey of making it okay so there they are there's the parts off the sprue simple enough off there use the sharp knife all these components here come in a, a, a separate bag in the kit as part of the kit so that's that's your components to start building the uh, the station platform yeah so, to adjust the camera just right for you so and like I said it all, all, all fits on this okay so we'll go to the next stage that's what they show you in the instruction uh, uh, to lay it out get the components out and lay it out ready and then we go to the next page which is double sided and it shows you how to put it together okay so what I'll do is uh, turn you off at the moment work it all out and come back to you in a moment so I'd better show you where I'm up to at the moment this is partially built okay and you get these one side's got a texture finish and one side's fairly smooth there yeah? and it's got a line on it so you can see that that goes on the outside okay and then this is this is a dry fit at the moment now the middle sections here one two three four these end ones are identical to this all right the two end ones one's got a, a pointed end and the other one's got a more more of a block on it yeah so I thought I'd show you this when we get to this now that's the textured side so that goes in there and all you do is push it into there get the next support and push it in now this one there are two of these they are slightly different and now I'll them there basically it goes on the end that one okay so that slots in there same with that one I've got the texture side to me the difference is a block there and more of a peg there yeah and basically it's just a push in and it's nice and snug to be honest um, as you can see it's all it's all in one big piece 
And now you've dry fitted it, you can put a spot of glue on it. And it recommends uh, uh, touch of super glue. So you've only got to pop them out, touch of super glue, and uh, they're secure. As you, as you can see in there. Okay. Now it says A and B there, yeah. And that's what I'm. I was trying to demonstrate. This is the A, which is slightly different to that, and you get two of them, one for either end, and that's the B's all the way down the middle, yeah. And it's a, just a matter of doing that. Pop the pop pop them out again. Put a touch of glue on. Stick them in. And to be honest, they're a tight fit. Whether you want to glue them or not, that's another thing. Because you're not going to be walking around with it, will you? So then, you know. So, that's that page done. Um, and to be honest, like I said, they're, they're a snug fit. But I will, I will put a touch of super glue on them. Just to make them secure. And that's the underneath. Okay. So I'll come back to you on the next stage. Right, I've glued them all in place. In fact, they're a, they're a very tight fit. Um, <laughs> I struggled to get one or two out again. But now we know they're all in and uh, they're secure and level. That's, that's the main thing, okay? So we move on to the next part of the... Uh, sections right we we fit in these now okay and we need to turn this upside down and now down the side of each one there's a little slot okay I've just got to work out which way around these go I'll have to read the instructions but basically they slot into there like that Okay, so so it looks like that. Where are we? Yeah, there. And of course you've got to get them flush. So um, that's the whole point. Oh, you've, you've got to get this end right. Yeah. See how, see how that shape is there. It's on both sides. On this one, it's only one side. It's shaped. Yeah. Because the end bit with the gate slots in there. Uh, if, you, if, the, the, uh, if it was the wrong way around, uh, if you had the other bit, it wouldn't fit. Yeah. Is it? No, it goes in the other way up. <laughs> oh, daft as it may seem, yeah. It goes in that way, this way up. Okay. With there's a, um, you can see the where the door lock is and and the back of it. That's that's this is a dry fit. There we go. And that's how it slots into there. Okay. So you get that look on the end. And basically you're doing the same with them all the way down, but on the other side up. Yeah. So. Let me just glue this this end in because you don't need much glue because it's quite they are quite a, a good fit to be honest. Just put a dab on there and a dab on there. The legs on the way outside. So. And there we go. That's glued in. That's one end in anyway. And we can do the other end as well. As you get two, one either end. Again, same with that. There's a door lock on them. So it shows up. That fits in there nicely. Dab of glue. Remember you're using super glue so you don't need much. It's only a wafer thing and sort of thing. 
there we go that's the two ends done so what I'll do now is uh, read the instructions it goes yeah now one side one side is plain and one side is ribbed and the rib goes to the outside okay that's what it's saying there If I show you there, okay. Basically, do all that, and then you got. I've just put the ends in before I got to there. So there we go. Back in a sec. Right, guys. All fitted. Uh, very cautionary note. These little fences. Oh, oh, not fences, are things that go underneath. Can you see that? Them grills. Okay. They're very flimsy. And what I found, because I've got hot hands uh, doing this, bit of stress and what have you, they will bend a little bit in your fingers. Um, super glue works absolutely perfect on this. There is a bit of tolerance, a bit of play between one to the other. Um, so make sure you, you super glue down on the bottom and then hold in place for about 10 seconds. Okay? Once it's in, it's in. Uh, and then that's, that's as far as I'm going this evening. Yeah, what time is it? Yep. It's tea time now, so I'll let all that set. That's the that's the main thing, but that's the that's the cru crux of it. It's uh, that's the main um, parts done. If we're gonna zoom in on it. There we go. Can you see that? So it's simple enough. You get these cross members. And they all slot in. There are two end pieces of these cross members, and four of the uh, rails have got end pieces as well. They are separate uh, pieces for the end. Okay, so make sure you do it right. It's self explanatory in a way. They are different shapes. Okay, so you know. That's the end. These go all down the middle, and uh, we're, we're, we're sorted. Where did I put that now? All right. Anyway, I'll be back to you when I start the uh, the next page. Okay. And before I leave, the next page is on the tops on doing the tops. But I'll let all that set first and then we'll go we'll delve into it afterwards. So in there it is. In uh, in your eyes I'll be back in a few seconds. <laughs> right. Right from back back from tea. I've taken the uh, two platforms off the sprue. Okay. Um, they're only fixed in that that is second go. <laughs> They're only fixed in at the end here. Um, these are all all clear down the sides, so you only need a sharp knife. Cut it out. Make sure there's no uh, sprues hanging on the end. It suggests in the in the instructions the edge of this paint it. What I've used is a, a paint pen. Okay. One of these. Um, it's just a paint pen. Or you can use a permit marker or anything like that. It's just a little uh, fibre tip with sort of ink, paint, whatever. So uh, that's what I've done down the edges, basically. So the next step is to uh, fit these on. 
Uh, let me have a go at doing one, then I'll show you the second one. Right, I've done one. Uh, seems to have come out okay. I think I got it pretty well straight. Um, this is a smoother side than the other, so make sure she's free. Peel off your platform edge sticker. Okay. And with the platform to the back of you, back of the uh, sticker, get it lined up right on the edge. Just to show you in the uh, in the instructions how to do this, the same same as I'm doing it now, and then just make sure you got a straight edge all the way along. Like so, and then smooth out your bubbles, if any. A slight one there, so pull that off. There we go. Job done. Yep, that's nice and neat. Yeah, yep, I'm happy with that. That's covered the whole platform, everything seems to be. Sticking down, you can hear it uh, when you're pushing the air through or whatever. Not that there's any bubbles there, you can hear it sticking. Right, so that's that. So, what it suggests now on the back side is smear a thin layer of glue there on that edge. I've just used on that one and I wasn't, yeah, well it's stuck now, I, I'll do it again. I've used this, the uh, Rocket Car Glue, and uh, what I should have done is put a thin bead in, it's blocked up again already, doesn't take long does it? There we go. A very thin bead like that. and what I should have done with the other one was smeared it to get a good uh, so it's not too thick and then you got it right to the edge as well Don't don't hang around for it. Get on with it. Turn it round towards you. Place it like that. Turn it so it goes on its edge. Yeah, that gives it a flat edge and down. Now you should end up with a square edge there. And what I found, the glue didn't stick straight off. I think I should have used super glue, but it's it's um, got to manipulate it in a way because it's not it's not really set in that quick. The rocket card glue, it's not sticking it properly. It gets there eventually, but. If I didn't show you, you wouldn't know, would you? Maybe if you used um, that other stuff, the gel stuff, might be even better. I think once you, once you've got it down and it's it starts to adhere properly, 
There we go. Just because you're not going to see this side. It's hidden under underneath of all the frame and everything. But you don't want it peeling off, do you? I think that's uh, pretty good that now. Yeah, you can feel it now, it's drying. So it gives you a, a straight edge along there, yeah. I think it, I think they give you four, so you could actually put two platforms together like that and make an island, yeah. I think that's what it is. If you got another set, you could make a an island out of it, and actually the. They line up nicely, perfect lines with the perfect ends, yeah, spot on. So that's that, okay. I'll just go ahead and make sure this is stuck. This one's stuck, that's dry now, I can feel it's, it's all dried up. That one's nearly, nearly, nearly dry. Yep, I would say that was okay to me now. So, let's, uh, let's have a look at the instructions back in a sec. Right guys, this, this platform is now glued. Okay, I did it off camera because I didn't want to sp spoil me fun. But what they're suggesting is you put it level with the back of these, put it level there. That gives you enough overhang on the front. You've got to have it level on the ends, and if you look at that end, it's plain. And if I turn it round, that end has got a curbing, okay? And they go on the ends because the two black pieces go together, okay? So I ain't got a lot of room here, but we're getting there. What I, what I used was a, a straight rule, placed it in, in place like that and put it up against the block and then moved the top into place on it, yeah? Made sure it, it was square on it. So what I'm using is super glue. I'm hoping this is the... This is good enough to do it. Should be, I mean, it's, it's only MDF at the end of the day, isn't it? That's the glue. Put that out of the way, safe. Now, if I do this right, I'm, I'm line it up spot on. Like so. Get that there to go to there. That. That should be. Yep, it's level with the end. Push down into place. It's level with them. On the side, yep. happy with that. Yeah. And they've lined up nicely as well. So that that is now your platform, yeah? With the, uh, with the uh, what is it? With the grills underneath. If I come closer. Yeah. Oh, you can see them there, can't you? And what I'm saying about the ends, there's like a door on it, so you've got to have it the right way around. That's why that piece has got to be the right way around to slot in, to get the door effect at the end, so you can climb underneath the platforms. But that's, that's the platform in place. That's, 
that is one kit yeah there now the rest is is extras okay so that's basically one kit as you can see on camera all right and uh, if you go on this website you can you can get the sizes but what I'll do is show you now it's 30 33 so it's 63 millimeters yeah which is just under two foot one inch yeah so seven eighths <laughs> two foot seven eighths uh, basically 63 millimeters and if I remember right it's two inches across okay which is fifth, sixth, yeah, 5.1 millimetres, something like that, but it's two inches wide, go, go on two inches I would say, and two foot one inch long, that's, that's one platform, you can buy extensions to go on it, okay, so that's the, that's the main platform all done, right, now at this point, um, we don't want to put the uh, steps on until they're in place. Uh, what we need to do is the fencing. Is glue the fencing in along this back edge. Yeah, because the passengers, uh, it's blocked off this end with the with this, the uh, with the steps. Uh, the steps go down that end. This end is up against the tunnel portal, so the bridge comes down onto here. And then what I need to do is fit the fencing all along there, then the chairs, then the signage, signage boards, uh, and any um, platform lighting. West Hill Wagon Works sell the, the lighting kit. There we go, run out of battery again. Anyway, <laughs> I have now got the uh, fencing on. Okay, now, uh, after a lot of measuring and messing about, okay, these fences, these, so you've got posts at both ends, you have to cut one off each piece okay and then match it up on the ear doesn't tell you that in the instructions okay that's it's completely up to you how you want to do it but what I did was cut the posts off there's one I've trimmed basically I've cut the post off and then lined it up so they all line up okay so you've only got one post so you don't end up with two posts next to each other okay and that's what basically you're doing all right um, it's not easy to do it's fiddly but that's my outcome okay and um, got the ends on with the gates That's that, and you get a spare fence. So, if you want to go about trimming it slightly different ways or whatever, there is a spare one. But I might need that for my next kit. So, same with that little piece there. So, hang on to the bits as you do. Uh, so, that's that. So now I've got a platform with fencing all the way around. Okay, and if I show you from the visual part part of it, okay. There we go with all the grills, and now it's starting to uh, all set. It's it's quite 
quite uh, sturdy to be honest. It's, it's not flexing, put it that way. Um, so the next piece on the agenda, where is it? Seating. Work out the seating. Now I may have to paint these, I might have to uh, do another day on this. The package, the unwrap, they got sticky on the bottom. It's just okay, and they're in a little case which you can use for something else. Now, seating ah, seating comes already painted with armrests. Okay, three little feet. The armrests are in blue. Turn this. Can you see that? No. Anyway, they're all in. So what I'm going to do is, I've just had a look at where the bridge is going to go. So if I sort of place them along here, sort of evenly space them somehow. Yeah. Two, miss two. Two, miss two. Two. So I could put them there because the bridge is going to come down here, the, the footbridge. Can I go three? That's the thing. I'll leave two there. Go three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's a bit more evenly spaced. Obviously it's down to you what you do with yours. Isn't it? Well, that, that looks pretty uh, pretty good to me there. I'll have to check on the uh, footbridge. Hang on a sec. Yeah, that, sh that should work out perfect. Jesus, look at the cobwebs on this. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. It's a pretty standard homey bridge, yeah. It's ideal for what he wants. But when I put it there, tight in, the seating's in the right place. I could move down one, couldn't I? So too close to there, I could go. I could go there. 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 Yeah, I think that's it. That's even better. Yeah, it's more evenly spaced, isn't it? Well, that one and that one is two five seats. So if I go a four seater there and then go a five seater, leave it three. Or a five seater. Uh, was it missed two? I'll put it there. Yeah, that's ideal because mainly the passengers are all here, aren't they? They're not standing up against the fence. So we'll go with that. I didn't realise two of them were five seaters. But that's that's the plan. So. Uh, back in a sec. Uh, at one point I think the camera ran out of battery. Anyway, I carried on. So now we've complete to a point. Okay. This is the station, platform, fencing and information boards, yeah? Which actually come... If I can get into focus, there they are. They actually come from DCC Concepts, believe it or not. Not working. It's getting the focus right. But that, that's ideal. Um, and they, they come with two bigger boards and two more of these 
you've seen on there. So that's four four of them uh, boards and two bigger boards, which they'll go on the other layer, to be honest. And uh, there you go, passion new information screens from DCC Concepts, which is part of Westdale Wagon Works. Okay, they self promote each other as far as I'm aware. So there you go, there's the platform built. Um, and then the bridge goes in there, that's why I've left that gap there. Um, and obviously I don't want to fill that gap there, do I? So. Okay guys, <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle, but it's in. Okay, this is the finished product I'm doing up to now, I've run out of bits. Um, the only thing it's missing on there, I don't know, a little canopy of some sort, or uh, some lighting. Okay, and that is the finished product. I have now updated the uh, platform. All I need to do now is ballast it pull it forward slightly, uh, measure it up against the trains to get the right distance, fix into place and ballast. But that's the platforms in. And boy does it look a lot better. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, you've seen me partially do it anyway, I haven't done everything but it went together as as in in the instructions. Um, so there you go. Well worth the investment to me. That, like I said, I've only got to line it up now with a get a DMU in there. It'll fit. That'll fit a uh, two car DMU. And. Uh, Adjust the platform to the train, and there we go. Okay, that's that part done for now. Right, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you in the next little update. And I've got some more. Bye for now. Bye.